That one just, just says Martin Luther King. You didn't find one in the bottom of the box? Once again, we've gathered here at Lockheed Martin. And as we have all these many years, over the past three decades, as part of our campaign of nonviolent resistance to Lockheed Martin, to the world's largest weapons corporation and war profiteer, Navy Tomahawk cruise missiles and battlefield computer systems as well as field support equipment for Minuteman 3 missiles Mark 12A nuclear warheads. Lockheed Martin is the common de denominator in the production of every weapon system, nuclear and non-nuclear, in the U.S. arsenal and sold by the United States around the world. Lockheed Martin received the public treasury of more than $42.7 billion this year. We carry the intolerable weight of Lockheed Martin and will continue to do so until we decide to stop it by acting for justice and peace. The exit of U.S. troops from Iraq left behind the largest diplomatic embassy in the world with 16,000 State Department, more than half of which are private security contractors. And barely had the tracks of the departing troop convoys disappeared than the Obama administration was announcing the sale of nearly $11 billion worth of arms and training to the Iraqi military, including Lockheed Martin F-16 fighter jets. Unmanned aerial drone bombings in Afghanistan and Pakistan have killed untold thousands of civilians. These remote-controlled, nearly daily drones have become central to the policy of war in Afghanistan and the so-called war on terror, and have introduced a whole new approach to war policy, from Afghanistan to Yemen and Somalia. Secret U.S. drone bases are operating across Af North Africa and the Near East. Lockheed Martin is among the largest manufacturer of surveillance and armed drones, as well as the missiles they fire and the military satellites that direct and control the drone bombings from the continental United States at the Creech Air Force Base in Nevada, outside of Las Vegas. The phenomenal, unimaginable rise in drone technology and application from war and domestic surveillance uses over the past has, decade has thousands of research firms, weapons manufacturers, security businesses, police departments around the country, as well as colleges and universities across the co country lining up to get in on the drones and the billions in the drone machinery of killing with impunity and a degree of domestic surveillance and spying that would make Orwell's big brother wonder about the constitutionality of it all. What about Vietnam? They asked if our own nation wasn't using massive doses of violence to solve its problem, to bring about the changes it wanted.
escorted to the front entrance to say a prayer for the crucified humanity on this Good Friday, this first day of Passover. We did not and still do not come here to be arrested. We come here to bear witness and to resist the work here at Lockheed Martin. Our request was denied. It's lethal okay. and legal authority to, uh, to keep us citizens from, from going to this corporation. I'm sorry, you have anything in your pockets other than your like, cell phone? Yes, sir. 